going live for another episode. Hold on. Everybody's joining us. <clears throat> Hopefully you're all live. Everybody's here with me. <clears throat> uh, boom. <clears throat> all right. Welcome to another episode of Martial Arts Movie Monday. I'm your humble host, Bobby. <clears throat> Before we get to it, you got to get to the important business. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow. Go to our website, hollywoodmatrimony.com. Follow us. Click on everything. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We got our own site. We're here on YouTube. We got a little bit of everything. <clears throat> um, if you've never seen this show before, shame on you. This is like episode 36. You have other shows you can watch. You should have already seen them by now. But I dive into my little baby movie collection back here of martial arts flicks. <clears throat> Dig one out at random. Pick it up. Talk about um, the movie itself. Uh, it's the fights. The movie. Is it good? Or is it bad? But also ha ha may have influenced my own martial arts career. Uh, and uh, just all things the fun of martial arts because that's what I love and I know if you're watching this you probably love that too so let's dive right in today uh, it's been kind of a hard day um, outside of just being busy day with classes and whatnot uh, I actually lost one of my um, one of my fellow black belt friends that I've known for over 20 plus years uh, to the coronavirus today um, or I found out today, I believe he passed away either last night or yesterday or this morning. Um, but I found out about it. So I wasn't going to do a show today, but I decided, you know what? It's martial arts. Martial arts just keeps striving forward. I know the show is not important, but it's important to me. <clears throat> and I was decided to keep it going. So we're going to move on. Um, much love out to Mr. Rodriguez who passed away. Um, <clears throat> and hopefully um, we'll be able to we'll celebrate his life as soon as all this other nonsense is over. But for now, we're going to talk about a new movie. Uh, and today, as I promised yesterday on Hollywood Matrimony Live, uh, when we were talking about It Man 4 on that show, and the reason we talked about that on that show and not this show was because I had already done an It Man um, episode about the trilogy and the Master Z spinoff film. And the missus uh, wasn't able to do this show with me, but she's on Hollywood Matrimony Live and she had just watched it, man. So we had already talked about it, man, once on the uh, four once on that show. I did. We talked about it again yesterday. So if you want to hear our thoughts about it, man, for go to our Hollywood Matrimony Live. Uh, you can check that out on our YouTube channel as well. And we're giving away copies of it, man, for the contest will end probably this Wednesday. So if you haven't entered, go to our website at HollywoodMatrimony.com. Enter to win. But <clears throat> I decided, if, even though we're not talking about it, man, talk about a Donnie Yen movie. So we keep it going. So what I chose was the 2007 flick Flashpoint. And why did I choose this movie, you ask, outside of the fact that Donnie Yen is in it? Well, it's also directed by Wilson Yip, <clears throat> uh, who not only did the uh, SPL Killzone movie with Donnie Yen, but he directed... All four, I believe that he do all. Yeah, he did all all the. Uh, um, I believe he directed them all. Let me double check. I know he directed the beginning of. Yeah, he directed all four Ip Man films as well. So it's it's kind of a connection in in conjunction with just the the uh, the talent behind it as well. Uh, this is one of their earlier movies. Uh, this I believe was before. Yeah, it was before Ip Man. So this is kind of getting to see them team up first. Um, I think. Killzone was before this. Let's look real quick. Hold on. Let's double check. Nope, this was after. Killzone. So Killzone was was before this one. But either way, <clears throat> that's still a great movie too. If you do a whole thing, because there's three Killzone movies and different titles, so you don't even know they're necessarily related to that. But today, 2007, uh, Flashpoint with Donnie Yen, Wilson Yip. Now, this is not a movie that had a direct influence on me um, for my career in martial arts coming up. Because obviously at 2007, I was already an instructor. I was already teaching. Uh, but like I've talked about in some of the other movies uh, that were more modern, um, I still feed off of them. I still watch them and I learn things and I see things. And uh, I love this movie. Uh, now, I will say a little bit different about this movie. This is this is a little bit of a different Donnie Yen. Um, he plays a cop in the movie. <clears throat> um, and basically his fighting style in here is what's different. Um, a lot of us are used to the Wushu movies and the, and the Wing Chun with the Ip Man stuff and things like this. <clears throat> this one, um, while still a straight up martial arts flick, he brings a more of an MMA style <clears throat> to his fighting with a lot of throwing, uh, shoots, uh, you know, then there's the kicks and the punches, but the ground, ground and pound, uh, it's really brutal the way they do the fights. Now, I'm, I was always surprised with this movie 
is because like I remember the fights and I remember the action. Uh, there's there's one specific fight scene at the end of the movie, which is one of the big ones. And it's always stuck in my head because it's such an awesome fight and it's long. But the movie doesn't have that much action in it. Uh, there's a lot of downtime of the storylines. Don't get me wrong. There's plenty of action, but <clears throat> the, the fight, there's two big ones a period of time, but they're both so um, impactful. I'm thinking there was way more fights in this movie than there actually were. So revisiting it again, I was like, man, when did these fights happen? I thought they were sooner. Uh, but it doesn't hurt the movie because it's still an interesting uh, movie of, you know, the cops and the drug dealers and the criminal underground and the, the undercover cops. And that's, it's a lot of that cliched cop stuff, um, but it works. And Dunian's really good in it. Um, they, they've they created some amazing fights. And, and again, this is another one of those movies that I watch and I see like that fight scene alone as, as a martial artist impactful as I watch it. And I see him do some Muay Thai type knees and I, I'm seeing the throws, but I'm also seeing how to put them together. So as somebody who came up predominantly, um, my initial uh, primary martial arts was Taekwondo. And it wasn't until I was already a black belt that I really started uh, spending extra time training in other styles. Like when I was a teenager and I was kickboxing and stuff, um, I trained with some Muay Thai, a Muay Thai fighter that was a friend of mine. I had done some Aikido and I had done some Kung Fu and I, I didn't hold a rank in any of this stuff at the time. Um, I had was a Taekwondo guy through and through. I was a kickboxer. I'd done a little MMA later as it started kind of coming up <clears throat> when I was younger. But my primary focus was Taekwondo. And um, thankfully, I had been kind of exposed to Bill, uh, Grandmaster Bill Sosa, the late Bill Sosa, uh, who's an Aikido guy. And and uh, a friend of mine in high school that was a Muay Thai fighter, and but he was an American type, uh, I don't want to say American type, but it's probably Americanized Muay Thai. So it wasn't until I'd gone to actually Thailand and trained Muay Thai that I really saw the difference between what I had learned from him, similar, but it was different than what I learned in actual Thailand, which is where I'm certified through now. Uh, but it ex had exposed me to stuff in this movie is one of those good examples of seeing uh, a master with Donnie Yen um, and the great people that he's fighting against in the movie execute so many different kinds of styles in one. Like M Man 4 does a really cool job of um, pitting style versus style. So there's like a Wing Chun versus a Tai Chi and then Wing Chun versus the Japanese karate, Wing, the Tai Chi versus Japanese karate, different kung, types of Kung Fu versus karates. Um, so it's interesting to see how they compete against each other. This one, everybody in the film, it was very brutal. It was very uh, gritty and grimy, uh, but still stylistic. Um, it wasn't a lot of just fancy jumping and flipping and twisting. It was brutality. It was uh, functionality. Every move had a purpose. <clears throat> Nothing was there for Flash. Um, and Donnie and knocks it out of the park, as always. If you haven't seen this one, it, it, it's uh, it's got some of the... Pro I think the fights in this are probably better than most of the Ip Man fights um, from a standpoint of execution. The Ip Man fights are all amazing. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> but I like the fight, uh, especially the final fight in this movie. It, it's one of my favorite fight scenes on film. Um, just because of the brutality of it and the so many different things that are used um, in execution and the way they do it and the, the jumping in and out of styles. and uh, But it's not like when you used to watch like the old 70s Kung Fu flicks where you knew this guy was just like there's a – I don't remember if it was Jackie Chan or, or Jet Li or somebody else. Anyway, it might have not even been any of them. Uh, I don't remember offhand. But there was a – one of the movies where, excuse me, where the guys are fighting and in between, it might have been the movie Forbidden Kingdom with, uh, with is it Forbidden Kingdom with Jackie Chan and Jelly uh, when they're fighting and they keep changing styles. And so when they change the styles, they shift to this and then all of a sudden they change into this. And then next thing you know, they're changing into this and then they're doing this here. And, and, and the per they would call out the name of the style before they did it. And this isn't like that. This is, this is more, um, he's just, they're just fighting. It's just like brutal punches. You know, you're like watching an MMA fight. That's just a little more excitable. 
meaning it's a little more dynamic. Um, they're using furniture and there's guns and there's explosives and there's other things happening outside of just the fight. But <clears throat> it's just, it's a great little movie, man. It's like just, uh, I believe it was, hold on. I was reading, let's see if I still have it. I may have closed it. How long it took to shoot the final fight was just a crazy. And, and with Asian cinema, there's a lot of them that do that where you hear about, how long it took. Um, nope, it's not on this one. Uh, but anyway, but at the end credits, it also shows um, something Something even more impressive to me was not just, you know, like Jackie Chan's known for showing the bloopers and the um, the accidents that happened and the, the showcases. I love those because uh, it brings the realism to you after you've got through the fantasy of the film. This one showed some of those, but it also was showing just all the people in the movie training for the movie. So like you could say they were like going through classes, uh, showing them doing drills and practicing the techniques and then in the, in the ring, um, throwing each other and fighting each other and uh, kicking pads and setting up kicks and spins and whatnot to see what works. And, and you see how much effort these guys put into it. And then you, it makes so much sense of why it takes so long and why these fight scenes that these guys put out come out so masterfully is because it's not just a couple of people that practice for a few hours. These guys put everything in their whole life into it. And I mean, they get hurt and they, they keep going or they do this and that. And so it's just so awesome. It's awesome. But again, Flashpoint 2007, uh, if you like the Ant-Man movies, if you've seen the Kill Zone SPL movies, you like those movies. This is from the same team. Donnie Yen, Wilson Yep, director. <clears throat> you got to check it out. It's available now. It's another one under Wellgo USA, who is an awesome distribution for Asian cinema in the U.S. Uh, if you find this movie, check it out. You can go to the website. I'm assuming you can order it from there. I don't know. But if not, you should be able to find it in the store. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I guess that's it. Yeah, that was it. So <clears throat> don't forget, you can check that movie out. You can find it. I'm going to be uh, giving away copies of it, man, for the finale. Uh, I actually have two copies to give away, and I've already got a bunch of entries. So if you want to, for your chance to win a copy of it, you got to head over to HollywoodMatrimony.com, go to the contest page, click on the contest. It tells you what you need to do. Um, <clears throat> just because we're locked down for, with the coronavirus doesn't mean I won't still mail this to you because I will leave and go to the post office, and I will get this in the mail if you win the contest. So make sure you enter, <clears throat> share it out. Tell your friends, but about Flashpoint, Donnie Yen, Wilson Yip, great fun movie, great fights, a different take on what most people are, are used to with Donnie Yen now, uh, but this is the Donnie Yen I like more, the, the Flashpoint one. I like that one where he just goes balls to the wall, ready for action. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, next week, if everything goes as planned, I'm going to do the biggest series of films on this show yet. Um, it is from one of my... Uh, childhood heroes um and when i say childhood not little ones and no it's not bruce lee or chuck norris i'll tell you all about it uh if if i have the time to watch all the movies because there's a bunch of them so i'm planning to watch the entire franchise it's probably gonna be a longer show because i got a lot of movies to talk about in that franchise um me and the missus also want to do another show about a movie that we find it's more of a it's a martial arts flick but it's kind of a lot because it's an exploitation type flick so if she's available, we may end up bumping my other way. Give me more time to watch them and do that one. But either way, I got the next couple of weeks planned out. So please join me next Monday for an all new episode of Martial Arts Movie Mondays. Um, <clears throat> be here tomorrow for all new episode of TV Tuesdays where me and the missus chat about all things television, new, old, whatever we're watching, what we love, what we don't love, possibly some TV news if we got any or if I get around to getting to it. And then back here on Sunday for a new episode of, of Hollywood Matrimony Live. I have no idea what we're talking about. I think I think we're going to talk about Extraction, uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, animated film, uh, Scorpion's Revenge, uh, maybe Dolphin Reef. I don't know, something else. <clears throat> but that's going to be it for today. I really appreciate you all. And again, uh, I know you all don't know him or most of you don't know him. But please keep Mr. Rodriguez, not only his family, but all of his students uh, in your hearts and prayers. Uh, he's a big loss for the martial arts community or my martial arts community, my heart, my family. Uh, he's one of my brothers. <clears throat> he will be horribly, horribly missed. Uh, so keep him in your thoughts. Uh, spread the love to each other. Go hug somebody you know. Uh, and be happy. But above all else, make sure you keep your hands up. <clears throat> stay out, stay from outside. Wait till this is all over. We're in this together. 
be nice to one of each other. I love you all. Peace and peace and love. Hands up. <clears throat> Till the next time. I will see you on the other side. Peace.